good day. I did not know if I should say good morning or good evening because I didn't know what time the audience is going to watch or listen to this video. But my name is Mercedes Young and I'm the president of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of the Tampa Bay area. And if you would like to contact us, please go to www.tampahispanicchamber.com or 813-867-3550. And I want you to know that I cannot wait to get into this interview because it's a subject that has been a conversation and some people wonder, should I do it or not? And I'm going to take you out of the mystery and introduce you to Mr. Hugh Palmer, who is the owner of Solar Power Energy. And he is one of our awesome members. So today he's going to talk to you about solar panel. So please introduce yourself. Awesome. And um, I'm so happy to be here, uh, Mercedes, and, um, you know, and appreciative of the work that you're doing with the, um, the chamber, especially to um, help and promote small business owners and solopreneurs like mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, my name is um, Hugh Palmer, and I'm with um, Power Energy. Mm -hmm. And um, our core mission is to accelerate the mm -hmm. adoption of renewable energy worldwide. Mm -hmm. So um, just so ha happy and uh, very honored to be here and answer any questions that um, you or um, just the public in general, you know, the members might have regarding. So and they will. They will have. <laughs> they will have. So okay. let's start with this one. Why should I consider solar power? Um, that's a great question, Mercedes. Um, see, um, one of the sayings that a lot of us use is um, when the sun goes up, the bills go down. Um, so uh -huh. so um, it's the most abundant source of energy. Pretty much the mm -hmm. earth um, you know, runs on the sun. And um, at the end of the day, um, it's with the some people have um, the, an issue as far as climate change and what's going on environmentally speaking. Mm -hmm. This year has been the hottest on record um, in, mm -hmm. in um, history. As a matter of fact, the average temperature is about two and a half degrees hotter than it's ever been. Yeah, we know we feel it here in Florida. We're smoking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, you know it's really interesting. Um, over the summer you know, with all the different things that we've seen, you know, um, wildfires in Canada, um, floods in Southern California, That's and, um, you know, all the, the, the crazy weather, plus 100 degree temperatures here in, um, th triple degree temperatures here in the Bay Area. Yeah. Um, we've been seeing some huge electric bills coming through. Yes, the electric bills. Say, I'm not home alone on that one. Yes. So it was not just because the pool was running. <laughs> like, yeah. And I asked, like, are you running the pool 24 7? What's going on? Do you know the temperature and the air condition? What's going on? Yeah. Oh, gosh. So it's, um, you know, a lot of um, it has to do with, um, you know, just the energy um, companies. Um, they, if, every single year, the utility bills, um, they've gone up. And um, there was an article in the, uh, I think it could have been the, the, the newspaper, local paper here. Mm -hmm. And it, it was saying one of the big utility companies, Tico, back um, in 2019, a $100 payment to the utility company would have been, it been uh, um, the 160 It got increased to $160 mm. in a three-year period. Mm. So in 2019, you know, a utility bill, which would have been $100, mm. 160 so a lot of folks are looking at alternatives and solar is a very substantial option just because of the fact that um, number one, you don't, it, most of the times when people see the signs, it, of course you and I not, know nothing is free. You know, it's zero out of pocket to get solar and there've been some huge tax incentives, you know, mm -hmm. um, regarding um, if you, um, it's a 30% right now. Uh, oh, wow. Tax, tax credit homeowners get, That's but it's awesome. zero out of pocket to get started. So all most people, what they're doing is swapping the high utility bill that you would have been paying mm -hmm. your utility company. Mm -hmm. And you're just diverting the funds to um, your, the, 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 your own equipment on top of your roof. Now, uh, just a quick question here. Uh -huh. is, is there a loan that you did to the bank and what is the time? Is it a ten-year loan, twenty-year loan? Do you do you have any idea? Um, very good question. 
um, because I'm, you know, the, the, the space I'm in, I'm a, I'm a broker. So I kind of like if you uh, go to a lending tree, because I do not represent a bank. Mm-hmm. I do not represent uh, a solar company. I'm, I'm an individual solar broker. So mm-hmm. I have access to 168 different financial options, including loans or leases. Mm-hmm. There's, um, so there's a difference because some people, it makes sense to get a loan. Um, you know, of course, you can get the loans for five years, 10, 15, 20, as mm-hmm. far as what the terms Mm-hmm. The 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 um, the customer wants, mm-hmm. but then you get a certain segment of um, people that might be investors. They might be seniors and retired. So um, because they do not have a tax liability, it makes sense for them to to go um, lease the equipment. Mm. But either way, it's still better than paying a hundred percent interest with the utility company. You know, because if you think of it, that utility payment that we're paying, it's kind of like we're in, we're in a situation where we have a landlord that keeps raising our rent. Now we can't take up and move our home. So you're mm-hmm. paying that utility till we die. It's like smoking. Mm-hmm. You just burn it down. So you're telling me is that when you get a solar panel, mm-hmm. wait a minute, before us, what is the best time to get solar? There's a saying that um, they, it's like planting a tree. When was the best time to plant a tree? Uh, right now. 20 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> the second best time is right now. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. But see, 20 years ago with solar, um, a lot of the tax um, credits weren't there, the tax incentives. Mm-hmm. And in some states, um, for instance, like in New Jersey, um, they have like um, the state has a separate incentive as a po- and then you have the federal incentive, which mm-hmm. is a federal tax credit. Mm-hmm. So um, the second best time to get solar is today, you know. Okay. And just as I said, the only difference with solar, the power works the same. Mm-hmm. The only difference for um, when when people look at solar is how they're going to structure the payment for it, whether they're mm-hmm. gonna go with. Um, a loan on the equipment or leasing the equipment. So, okay, so let me make sure that I understand this, especially for our audience. I want yeah. it to be you guys' voice. So you're telling me that if I get a solar equipment and, and get a loan for it and I pay it off in 10 years, after it's paid off, then what? Um, it's your equipment. It's mine, and so- I just keep having energy for free for the rest of my life um yeah for the rest of the life of the equipment yeah okay so tell me what is the like what's the lifetime of the equipment just to get an Very, idea and that's a great great question mercedes um the equipment they, they they have satellites that's been running on solar there was one that um voyager i think which was launched in the 70s and it's now out of the solar system so the equipment like even on the space stations and all the satellites they run on solar Hmm. So the average lifetime coming out of the box, all the equipment manufacturers will give, Mm -hmm. I'm talking for the solar panels, a 25-year warranty, but the equipment usually lasts a lot longer. In fact, um, Mm -hmm. you know, most of the time it's, I'd say, right around 30 to 40 years. There's a slight degradation on the equipment. Mm -hmm. Usually it's about less than 1% on the best panels out there. They call them the tier one equipment. Mm -hmm. And... um, but I would say average about um, 30 to 40 years. Mm-hmm. And if you calculate just um, the average home, if you, you know, a lot of times when you calculate what you're paying the utility company, mm-hmm. the average family home mm-hmm. in a 20 year period will be paying um, the utility companies over $70,000. Yeah, that's, that's a fact. So the mm-hmm. big idea is it's kind of like the reason why people buy homes instead of rent. Okay. Yes. We, o- we own our mm-hmm. homes, we own our um, cars, we own our furniture, mm-hmm. but we still rent um, our electricity. <laughs> so we like, and of course the American thing, um, like mm-hmm. we like owning our guns also. You know, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. so that is so, funny. Anyway. That is funny. I do have another question if you yeah. can explain this yes. to us. What is net metering? Net metering? A metering, yes. Okay. Um, net metering is, that meter outside of your house is, um, a few years ago, the electric companies came in and they switched out the old ones with the dial Mm -hmm. to the digital meters. Mm -hmm. Now, net metering is how the homeowner is compensated for 
the utility for the electric that, mm -hmm. um, of it. for instance, when you produce your own electric, when, it, when the project is built right, mm -hmm. you're um, selling the uh, extra power that you're not using, especially mm -hmm. like during the daytime, mm -hmm. back to the utility company. So now they're paying me. So they're paying, and it's a one-for-one -one ratio in Florida. Mm -hmm. So in other words, whatever you're not using, you're selling back to the utility company. Now at night, when the sun goes down, because you're building up a credit with your utility company, you're pulling back from the credit. Okay. So um, long story short, the utility companies, they do not like that arrangement, especially in Florida. Um, about a year ago, mm -hmm. all the utility companies, they got together uh, with the FPU and they passed a law that was going to limit, which, which was going to um, reduce the net meter in compensation, in, mm -hmm. which for in Florida, it's a mm -hmm. one for one ratio. Uh -huh. They were going to change it um, in 2023 to 60% um, and 2024, um, it would go down further. I believe it would have been 10, 10%, 10, 10 and then it goes, went away. It would it oh, really? away. But and, uh, it didn't pass. The government, uh, Governor DeSantis vetoed it. Okay. But in some states, like in North Carolina, um, you know, the um, Duke actually um, passed a law there which reduced the buyback rate. And then in California, they um, passed a law that reduced the buyback rate. It's mm -hmm. uh, So there's a lot of politics involved because the utility companies, remember I told you, mm -hmm. When somebody goes solar, um, they're losing at least seventy thousand mm -hmm. dollars from mm -hmm. that one home. So they don't, they do not like that. So they're no, not only that. And then on top of that, you say one or one ratio. Have to pay back. Can you give me an example of that? Um, I'll give you an example. Um, I have solar on my own house, and I would like to believe so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I have a new home, fairly new home. I live up in Spring Hill, and. Um, so my equipment was installed last November. You mm -hmm. know, I bought the house in July, mm -hmm. um, ju actually May. What happened was during the, right around January, I started getting just the connection fee, which is the utility, um, that meter outside of your house, you cannot disconnect from the grid. The grid is the utility company. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we cannot dis disconnect, not like back where I'm from, where you can just say, hey, um, JPS, which I'm from Jamaica originally, Mm -hmm. Take a hike. I'm just going to go <laughs> totally off grid. You can't do that here. Uh -huh. So we have to actually pay that connection fee. Now, that connection fee is what calculates how much you're selling back to the utility company. Mm -hmm. So I was building up my credits in the colder months. With what I mean by credits is during the summer months, it's higher. The bill, But in the winter, the bills are lower. Yes. So I was building my credits January, February, March, April, and then May, June, July, once it started getting hotter, I started pulling back from my credit. So um, because during the summer when the kids are out of school, mm -hmm. um, pretty much everything is on during the daytime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. yes. so, so what happened in my scenario, I had um, close to 1,400 um, kilowatt hours, which is what you pay when you're paying your utility mm -hmm. bill. But then um, August, I, it, it, I was pulling back from the credits that I had. Mm -hmm. so it's kind of like, as I said, you, you, they give you, you have a credit but with um, the mm -hmm. utility company. And then if you are using a little bit more, because you have the credit, mm -hmm. that credit gets taken off. But um, I still, I still, um, you know, from, from, mm -hmm. from January, even last month, my bill was $40, mm -hmm. which was just a connection fee. Yes. Did, did that yes. answer your question, though? No, no, I'm not clear. I'm just, just give me a little bit. Five year old. Okay. Just pretend I'm a five year old yeah. and you have 1,400 kilowatts. Mm -hmm. And so does it go from month to month? Like at what point, at what point they decide, oh, so you giving them more energy than you're consuming and they pay you back in cash or do you get a check or? Is it always in credit or? Very good question. Some utility companies, um, like uh, one of my colleagues in Duke territory, he lives in Kissimmee. He got mm -hmm. a, a check at the end of the um, the, the, the year because yeah. basically the way it operates is when you build up these credits mm -hmm. at the end of some utility companies at the end of the year, it's called, they have what's called a true up. And then whoever owes who pays. Pays. Okay. So, um, but in my case, I'm with um, with Klikuchi, which is, um, yeah. you know, so that, but yeah. in my scenario, 
I'm pulling back from the credit that I have with so, them. We, so you used it? Yeah. Really? So you I, used I still it? have credits with them. Okay. I'm pulling back from, from the credits. It's no different than, yes. you know, if you have a credit with um, a department store mm. and say you, um, you like my wife had a credit at a shoe store <laughs> for $300, but then when she went back, you know, she spent 150 but she still had $150 left. Okay. So okay. lo long story short, and that's uh, in essence what net metering mm. is. It's where they're buying what you're not using. Mm. And then some utility companies like back in the cell days, I'm aging myself mm. all over minutes, mm -hmm. where you get that credit card for carried, um, brought, you know, mm. to, to the next year. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So, what, what what should I should I buy or lease my equipment? What what will determine what's best for me? Um. Very good question. It's um all about um you know the, some people. I'll give you an example. I had a gentleman last week. He is um retired, so he's not he doesn't have a big tax liability. Remember, I mentioned there's a thirty percent tax credit. Mm. And he was buying an investment property over in Winter Haven. He lives up in um, the uh, Howie in the Hills, um, you know, north of Tavares. When you lease, for, because he's actually um, using that property as an Airbnb, mm -hmm. um, the lease does not show up as a tax liability. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, not a tax liability, as um, a, on your debt to income ratio, mm -hmm. as well as, um, you know, with the lease, it doesn't show up on. Um, on his credit. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, because it's an investment. Property. Right. Yes. And then That's right hard. away, um, because he did not have the tax liability, some people, they get the, uh, they get told, they, this, this is where the confusion is, where mm -hmm. the person that is answering their question or the agent or the salesperson mm -hmm. puts them in a loan and say, hey, you're going to get a 30% tax credit. And they think they're going to get a tax credit, but they do not have, you know, mm -hmm. if they're retired, Mm -hmm. They don't have a uh, tax liability, mm -hmm. so then nobody, you know, uh, they, they, they. So there's no tax credit to get, right? So if um, say it, it, so it all depends because um, like a young couple, or if um, you're self-employed and you need to have some type of um write-off, that mm -hmm. tax credit is huge. Yes, you know, for yes. instance, um, you know, when I got my system, you know, I I'm 1099, so I wanted as many <laughs> tax credits as I mm -hmm. possibly, you can, possibly can. can get. So it yeah. just made sense. But for that gentleman last week, mm -hmm. when you lease, you get a low payment. Mm -hmm just because you don't get that tax credit. So that, mm -hmm. because that tax credit, when you lease, goes to the leasing company. Mm -hmm. So- Got you, got you. Okay, right. okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay, I think I understand now. We, oh my God, this is so informative, guys. So mm -hmm. tell us again, how can we get in touch with you? Um, because you are a wealth of information. Yeah. And, I, and I, I'll just give you a quick a quick example. I, I, I brought a bill here um, mm -hmm. with a, a one scenario. Uh, gentleman has a house with a pool. He had a eight hundred and fourteen dollar Duke bill, mm -hmm. and when I worked out the lease terms, it was three hundred and forty nine dollars um, a month, and I can lock it in which um, for the next twenty five years. Mm -hmm. So um, he's a retired military. So mm -hmm. long story short, um, you know, there's uh, many ways. Solar Works is all about how you want to. Yeah, how you finance structure it, it, how you structure it, how you pay it. it. But um, Hugh Palmer, and I'm with um, Power Energy, and um, my the, the, the phone number is 813 838 7763. And then uh, my website is uh, mysolarraise.com. Mysolarraise.com. Now, I need to say this for the audience, for those that are going to hear this in the radio. Power Energy is P O W U R. Yes. P O W U R. Este es un poder diferente, a different type of power. This is a huge power. Yes, <laughs> you and of course. I, I thought I was misspelling it. <laughs> I appreciate um, you having me here, and I. As I said, one of the um, the main reasons why um, I'm, I like this space is, um, you know, one of the things people always say is, "What will your impact be in the world? What can you um, say you 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 know you accomplished?" And as a dad of um, three boys, you know, I'm just honored to be in a space um, where, um, you know, I remember we mentioned climate change and all that. Yes, I could say, "Hey, you know what? I was a part of." Yes. Um, you know, the okay. solution as opposed yes. to the problem. 
Absolutely. And because Power, P-O-W-R, they're um, a certified B corporation, kind of like, mm-hmm. um, you know, the there's a special criteria mm-hmm. that the company has. There's about mm-hmm. um, 8,000 independent reps like me, mm-hmm. you know. But the main thing is we do a lot of things like um, build houses in um, mm-hmm. Mexico. Mm-hmm. As a certified B corporation, we have to actually, it, every three years, they get audited as to what good mm-hmm. we're doing. Yes. So we're doing things like um, this this um, bracelet here. Mm-hmm. There's a tribe down in the um, rainforest down in South America. Mm-hmm. Um, it's from the Pachamama Alliance. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, there's a lot of deforestation going on because of people going there and drilling for oil and, um, you know, exploiting the resources. Mm-hmm. So um, it's just a reminder of, um, you know, the reason why, mm-hmm. what I do, what I do. Good. So um, there's a lot of different things we do, like uh, as a group, clean water in Africa. And uh, mm-hmm. there's an impact report um, we mm-hmm. publish once a year, actually every th- every few years. Mm-hmm. That um, goes more into um, the reason why, you know, it's a, as mm-hmm. a certified B corporation, you know, mm-hmm. kind of like the Warby Parkers and the Bomba socks, you mm-hmm. know. So, you know, it's interesting to, why. to hear you because I, I, I absolutely love what you do. And it's interesting that we actually met at a chamber luncheon about three years ago. And here we are having this conversation. But really, it's not just being an entrepreneur and doing what you do, but it's the the why you do what you do. So that gets you up in the morning and motivates you to touch one more person Uh because you're really making an impact in the world when you really think about it. It's, It's really an impact in the world. So I would like to know, why should I consider solar with your company? Um, and th- that's a great question. Um, well, one of the main things I tell p- my customers, um, mm-hmm. and by the way, um, a lot of my partners are are the bilingual. So for um, mm-hmm. you um, Latinos and yeah. Spanish, um, you know, by you know, I'll be more than happy to actually, uh, even if you don't, if Spanish is your um, first language, and you know, and that's you're you're not bilingual. Mm-hmm. You have so, somebody yeah, there for us. My, uh, my partner, Luis, and I, and um, Jose, you know, we... we... Luis and Jose, for the Dios. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Luis and Jose. Yeah. So, so, so we, 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 what we found, though, is, um, mm-hmm. and I tell people this all the time, Mercedes, I would rather, because I'm planning on being in this space, the tax credit expires in 2033. Mm-hmm. Um, it got extended. Oh, I bet it would hurry up and get yeah. my soul <laughs> up on this. Right. Mm-hmm. Here, here's the deal. Um, I tell people this, even if um, we don't do business, I mm-hmm. would, if, and I see you in Walmart, mm-hmm. this is my thought when I think of business. I want to make sure that, you know, you can actually say, hey, you know what, Palmer, I got a referral for you because mm-hmm. you told me the truth, you yes. know? And that is just the mindset as far as the way I do business. That's one of the mm-hmm. reasons why I even have two phones, just because mm-hmm. I have back, my background's roofing. Mm-hmm. And people call me, um, you know, that three, five years ago after Hurricane Irma, which mm-hmm. was a big hurricane in central Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, but people call me all the time and say, hey, you know what? Listen, um, you help me out. I have, you know, I have my sister um, needs your service. Can you talk to them? So mm-hmm. that's just my philosophy of, mm-hmm. you know, making sure that I take care of my customers. Mm-hmm. That is really good. That is really good. Because when I met you, you were in roofing. I yeah. remember that. I remember that. So, but you know, you're still in the roof. Yeah. <laughs> with the solar panels. Mm-hmm. You're still in the roof unless you put in a, pre- uh, a solar panel that you could people put on the side. Yes. But I wanted to thank you. And if you need a solar panel consultation, please either get in touch with Hugh Palmer at Solar Power Energy or call the chamber at 813-965-4440 or go to our website at www.tampahispanichamber. All of the podcasts are there. You get to see the person, you get to take notes, and you get to learn. You'll be amazed of all of the amazing members, so many different fields, so many different type of businesses that we have. And, And I'm so glad. I'm really, really so glad because I learned I do not know about the listing. I thought you just have to buy the panels and get it installed and here we go. Start yes. a new journey. So that is very good to know. 
And I wanted to thank you. Thank you so much for coming and thank you for making a difference in the world. Talk with you soon. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks. All right.